Happy Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for joining us. This is Sound and Stretch. Um, you will need one or two blankets or towels that you might have handy, good for kind of uh, cushioning or using, rolling it up for kind of height for our joints, supporting joints in the body. Um, and just a mat to practice on or something to practice on. Could just be the floor as well. And if you don't know who we are, yeah. hi, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Queenie. Thank you again for joining us. Um, One more thing. I almost forgot. So I'll be leading the practice today. Jonathan will be on the sound part of today's practice. Uh, if there's any requests, feel, feel free to uh, type it in the comment below and so I can see it, I can add it into tonight's practice. And I'm just going to wait a few more moments. Once again, you'll just need a blanket or two. If you don't have blankets, you can grab a towel that can easily be rolled up. Probably a body towel so it's a little bigger rather than the small hand towels. And to start, you just need to find a comfortable seated position. So shoulders, yep, you can definitely do some shoulder opening. Love that. So finding that comfortable seated position, feel free to elevate your sit bones. You're welcome to sit on a prop, your blanket or your towel. If you have a block or a bolster, you can sit on that as well. You can be cross leg, you can sit on your shins. You're welcome to kind of sit with legs extended as well. If you want your shoulders relaxed, your spine nice and tall. Your palms resting on your knees or your thighs. You can turn your palms upwards if you're open to receiving energy. If you feel like lots going on internally, you might turn your palms down. Just keeping your neck long. Let's close the eyes. Eyes closed, blocking out any visual distractions. Start to turn your awareness inwards, being aware of your breath. Little by little, start to deepen your inhales. And with each exhale, begin to let your day go. Release any tension that you are holding on to. Softening the muscles of your face. Setting your intention for the next 30 minutes while we're together. If you're unsure what, what type of intention or idea do we bring to mind, perhaps simply committing to being present for the next 30 minutes. Just being here on your mat, within your body, experiencing the different poses the different sensations.
placing your palms together, weaving your intention into your breath so that each time you breathe in and out, you're reminded of your intention. <coughs> Pressing the palms together. <coughs> okay. My little puppy. <laughs> Sorry. Come here. Just trying to guard us from our neighbors. We're going to let all of that go by taking a deep breath in through the nose. And let's open the mouth, sigh it out. Bowing your head. And blinking your eyes open, we'll release our palms. Just turn your head gently side to side, roll your shoulders. You can stay seated on a your blanket or a block. And what we'll do is we'll extend the legs out in front of us. Just shake out the legs. And then start to separate the legs. So if you're on the mat, you can shift back a little so that your heels are on your mat. There's a little bit of cushioning there. It really depends on your hamstrings, your hips. If it's um, quite uncomfortable or difficult to sit up tall, I would invite you to sit on some things or elevate your hips, maybe grabbing a cushion or a pillow. And then taking a blanket or a towel, you can roll it underneath your knees so that you're not hyperextending the legs and you're not feeling super uncomfortable in the hamstrings. You're gonna have some support beneath the knees. And then from here, we'll just bring our right hand towards the right leg, maybe on the inside, resting on the blanket or the towel. And then the left arm will start to lift up. Let's bring the left hand to the back of the head first, and then trying to lift the left elbow, point it up towards the ceiling, adding a side bend here getting the left side body to stretch. Watch the right shoulder, don't let it squeeze up to the ears, let the right shoulder relax. So not having to go super deep into the side body, simply feeling a lifting sensation in the left side. You can gently press your head into your left palm left elbow pointing up. Try to relax that right shoulder a little bit more. Breathing into the space between your ribs, expanding the intercostals. Relax your face. Breath in, sigh it out, and just release your left arm over to the right side. And you can frame your right leg with both your hands. So turning your chest over to the right side. Might need to walk your hands back a little, find more length in your spine. Or if it feels okay, you might walk your hands a little further away from you. And relax your body downwards. Again, add the cushioning underneath the knees if you need. You might find it's more comfortable without it. It really depends on the hamstrings, your hips. When you breathe, try to breathe into your low back. Fill up with air on the inhales. Find softness on the exhales.
next time that you breathe in, take a deeper inhale. Sigh it up. Walk your palms back in as you slowly lift the spine. And just, again, turn your head side to side. Roll the shoulders. Then lean back. Bend your knees. Or shake out the legs a little. And we will begin the, on the other side. So same thing here. Left arm can kind of rest on the left thigh or on the inside of the left thigh. You're going to reach your right arm up. Place the right hand to the back of your head. Lifting the right elbow, right ribs up. A little less about sinking to the left side. More about lifting the right side body. And just noticing how deep you are forcing the body to go. Instead of always going right to your edge, perhaps come a little bit away from that edge. Breathe. It's a little bit of effort here, but see if you can keep your breath flowing softly. Try not to let your left shoulder squeeze up to the ears. Relax the shoulder. Good. Breathe into the right side of your, your ribs, right side of your waist, creating space here in the side body. And sometimes our breath is really restricted by the tightness of the muscles in our torso. And just one more breath here. Take a deep breath in. Feel free to sigh it out if that feels nice. And have your right arm just reach over to the left side. Frame your left leg with both of your palms. You might need to sit up a little, that's fine. It's not about the depth. Feel the sensation in your legs, your inner thighs. Relax your shoulder. We are holding here for time. So even if we stay away from the, our edge, we might not be feeling intense sensations here. As we hold a little longer, you'll start to feel it a little more. So just breathe. where the mind takes you as we find pause. in as you bend the knees, close the legs, planting your feet down on the mat and just let your knees drop to the left and to the right, so like windshield wiper. Bring movement back into the hips, into your thighs. And if it feels okay to sit on your shins, I'll invite you to sit on the shins. Otherwise, you can sit cross-legged. You can also take this next pose sitting in a chair if you have any knee or hip issues that prevent you from sitting on the ground. 
working into the neck and the shoulders a little bit more. So we're gonna bring the right arm behind us. As the arm comes behind, you're trying to reach it over towards your other hip, all right? So what you can do is you can interlace the hands as well, and you're squeezing your elbows back behind you so that both shoulders get pulled back. Now with your hands over to the left hip, you're gonna tilt your head over to the left side as well. So initially you'll feel a stretch in the side of your neck. See if you can pull your shoulders back, puff your chest up a little bit more. So there's a gentle stretch that moves across the chest from the front of one shoulder to the other, moving across the collarbones as well. You'll feel a stretch in the right side of your neck. You're welcome to try and tuck your chin a little, and that will move your stretch towards the back of your neck. You can also lift your chin. It'll move the stretch towards the front. So you can experiment a little, see what feels good, where you might need this stretch. And do your best to not to slump forward, but to lift the chest and pull your shoulders back. to add a bit more stretch for your chest, your pecs, your shoulders. Make sure you're trying to breathe deep into your lungs, into your collarbones. Here for a few more breaths. your final breath in, nice slow breath out, and when you inhale next, bring your head back through center, slowly release your arms, the right fingers might be a little tingly, you can move your shoulders again, we'll place the hands forward so we come into tabletop, let's find a few rounds of cat and cow, We're moving shoulders and the spine as well as the hips. So your belly points down, lift your chest, arch your back, breathing in. And as we breathe out, we round the spine. So at your own pace, move as slow as you like, feeling every part of that transition between cat and cow. Just try not to rush. And the next time that you breathe in, come back to neutral. We'll sit back onto our heels. If this is starting to get really uncomfortable for your legs, switch it up, sit cross leg, or maybe even sit on your chair or your couch for a moment. And then we'll bring the left arm behind us. So bring the hand towards your right hip. Maybe you interlace the hands, squeeze your elbows back, try to pull your shoulders back, lift your chest. Good, and then from here, we're tilting the head over to the right side. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. And just like the other side, perhaps exploring where you might need that stretch in the left side of your neck. Allowing the chin to tuck a little. Maybe lifting the chin a little. To your belly, ribs, and right up to your chest and your collarbones. We're here for just a few more breaths.
taking a final breath here. Breathe, deep breath. Let it go slowly. Releasing your arms. Let your head come back to your center slowly. Once again, just move your neck. Roll out the shoulders. And sit off to one side if you're on your shins. Let's shake out the legs in front of us. Letting that go. Good. So from here, take one of your blankets. Roll it up. That's going to go under your shoulder blades and your ribs. So you don't have... Um, a blanket you can use a towel or roll up a cushion if you have if you have blocks you can use a block underneath your shoulder blades and one for your head as well so basically you're just coming to a position where your chest will be slightly elevated you don't need something that is super lifted and the arms if you have space for it try to reach them out to the side the reason for having uh, a lower prop instead of lifting the chest super high is that we want to keep the body in a parasympathetic state. So just get comfortable here. We want to allow the body to relax into this pose. If it feels nicer for you to bend your knees, you can plant your feet on the mat, feet a little wider and let your thighs come inwards. we hold this pose there's nothing you need to worry about as long as there's no strain in your neck you can fully relax into your props into your blanket your mat into the ground allow your breath and the sound of the chimes wash over your body. No efforts here, simply surrender. time that you breathe in, see if you can take a fuller breath. Really feel your chest expand. And open your mouth, let an audible sigh out. If that feels really nice, really releasing. Feel free to do it a few more times. Take a nice full breath in. to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Continue to breathe in and out through the nose. You can bend your knees if the legs are straight. Have your left arm come up by the left side of your face. You can slowly roll to the left side, pushing into the right palm, and maybe just removing the prop from underneath you. 
and then lying back down. Spine just flat on the mat. Have your knees bent. Palms just resting by your side for a moment. Feeling this neutral spine. Again, if when we take these stretches more in a more gentle manner, not going to our edge, really pushing the body, the body's a little more receptive to opening. Keeping our body in a calm state. Start to lift one foot up and then the other. Use your hands. You can hold your shins. You can hold the back of your thighs. If it feels nice, you can wrap your arms right up around the shins. Maybe even lifting your head up, bringing in your face towards your knees. Just don't allow your shoulders to squeeze up to the ears. So we don't need that unnecessary tension. Keep your neck long. Hug the legs, squish it towards your chest. Make yourself into a tiny little ball and take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. Release your head down if it's lifted. Release your arms. Slowly bring your feet back onto the mat. You can straighten the legs out. Feel free to take up as much space as you like. Maybe coming into a starfish so arms can reach out, legs can come wider as well if that feels nice. You can bend your knees, the arms can go somewhere else. It just it feels better for the shoulders in a different position. Close your eyes. Allow your breath to just return to its natural rhythm. Let your body melt into the ground. In this moment here, you are surrendering to the support of the ground beneath you. No worries, no stress. Little by little, begin to deepen your breath again as you move your fingers, your toes. Gently allow your head to move from side to side. And if it feels nice, stretch your arms, slide your legs together, breathe through the nose, sigh it out through the mouth. Bend the knees, pick a side, roll to your right or your left side. Gently press your palms into the mat to lift yourself back up. Find a comfortable seated position to close off our practice. Allow your spine to be light, your shoulders relax, eyes closed. ending the practice the same way we began it. And see if you notice if there's been any shifts or changes. And 
as we continue to build on this awareness, this connection with our bodies, with our state of being, you will start to notice even the most subtle shifts and changes. And we'll close our practice with one breath together. Bring your palms in prayer. Take a deep breath in. And sigh it up. Gently bow your head. Take a moment to thank yourself for making time for your own practice. And thank you for joining me tonight. Hope you were able to find some peace, love, and gratitude on the mat. Take that with you and share it with the people you interact with. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Namaste. Thank you so much for being patient and joining us tonight. Apologies again for Abby's bark near the beginning. She just heard one of our neighbors. Abby um, says sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was in trouble the whole time. Jonathan was just <laughs> holding her up. She to sat the side. with me up, sat behind me on the couch while I played. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, please don't hesitate. Uh, reach out. You can comment right here, or you can always DM us either on uh, at my home Instagram uh, account or on our own Fair Yoga. Thank you again for joining us. It's always nice to, you know, have someone we can share this practice with. <laughs> at least the practice is over. <laughs> Thank you again, and we hope to continue to get to practice with you. Uh, we will be here next Wednesday as well, same time, different poses, and Jonathan should be teaching that one. So, bye everyone. Thank you. Have a good evening. Rest well. Yeah. <laughs>